Hello, my name is Irina Vesela. I practice Reiki and body talk in Pine Town, South Africa. I would like to thank uh, Wellness and the Lifestyle Conference for giving me opportunity to talk to you. And um, my talk will be about why people do not heal. First, I want to mention that the Reiki and the body talk are complementary modalities and they are not a substitute for the medical treatment. So if you do have any medical issues uh, or diagnosis, um, please seek for professional medical help. Second, um, uh, everything I'm going to say today, it's based on my own experience and my practice and also the cases from my uh, colleagues. And I do not claim I do know ultimate truth why people do not heal. And we're going to talk about healing from the point of view of the energy medicine. Uh, like, like body talk and the Reiki. So why people do not heal? It can be very frustrating if person are looking for help after the few sessions with a practitioner or different practitioners, uh, the healing is still not happening. It's very frustrating and upsetting for the client and for the practitioners. And uh, here uh, I want to discuss and uh, reveal a few possible reasons why it happens. First reason, I think people do not heal because they are walk in in your room with um, unreasonable expectation. Usually clients uh, picture for themselves the results of, uh, of a healing. But sometimes um, it's just that picture perfect, whereas everything is solved and uh, it's just not possible. Not possible for the giving time and for the state of consciousness they are clients in that given time. It doesn't mean that later there are more progress not possible, but right here, right now, there is a limited uh, possibilities. So uh, let's take, for example, pain. Everybody can relate it to pain. I had pain, you've been through the pain, and you know when you are in this state, you just want to steal that pain away from yourself. You just want to stop it by any cost. But sometimes it's not the option. So what do we can offer if it's not the option? We can ease the pain. We can make it more um, bearable. And then we can learn how to live with that pain. We can learn from pain. Pain is a great teacher. Uh, even it's harsh lessons, but it's uh, there are those lessons are very valuable, and we can uh, teach clients to accept pain. And believe me, uh, it's a healing by itself to accept and live the the pain for 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 a while, for a given moment. If it's not any other um, way is possible to be healed, it is a healing itself. As just sometimes people do not see it that way. So people do heal, but sometimes they just uh, don't have a right perspective to accept that uh, and see it. Just not the way they, people do heal, but not the way they are expected. Uh, second reason why people do not heal. Um, healing can be a pretty uh, long road for some. And before we approach uh, to solving the problem needed to be solved, a lot of uh, stuff have to be released. Um, we usually uh, speak about um, uh, onion analogy. It's like you uh, need to peel a lot of layers before you address directly to the problem. And usually those layers we're talking about is suppressed emotions. It's... Um, uh, it's a uh, thought patterns it's a uh, harmful belief systems uh, belief systems are huge and uh, for different people it takes different time uh, for most of the kids it's a fewer and uh, shorter uh, session than adults but it's, it all depends to person to person it takes as long as does it take um, uh, I had a client, I have a client with a cancer and if, like almost for the whole first year of 
having a monthly treatment. We do not address uh, cancer directly at all. We need to sort out the other emotional issues and uh, the relationship issues. And on, like almost after the year, we start to work with the cancer when the, with the tumor itself. So people do heal, but not just yet. So, and you just need to get the patient and with your process. So if you do not heal, you're probably just in the beginning or in the middle of your process. The next reason why people do not heal, uh, it can be that we try to find the reason and the key of, for healing uh, in, their, in a person, in their body, in their mind, in their personality, in their own experience. But all of us, we're so much more than our physical, physical body and our mind. We are energy. We are energies which is, belongs to the different matrix. We are part of the family matrix. We are part of the culture, uh, religion, the race, uh, the past lives. We're all connected. And sometimes we just need to look beyond ourselves. For example, the most common one is um, family. And whatever happened to our ancestors, uh, it does influence our life. And I do not talk only about genetic component, like uh, there is some disease uh, which is go, go come from uh, uh, from grandma to the daughters, and even if they skip sometimes generation, uh, sometimes people not aware there is some such disease in a in a, in the family. So we just need to bring this story or awareness or what happened and my it's my triggers the um, uh, healing process uh, but sometimes it's a negative energy impact whatever happened with your ancestors can have influence on your life by talking about tragedies the traumas the unsolved mystery unfinishing businesses um, broken promises yes they all have impact on us as well and um, um, for example, the loyalty. It's a great quality, right? Yes, but people can do uh, unbelievable things out of royal loyalty. Uh, for example, and it happens more often with the women. So, for example, let's say uh, your grandma had a difficult life, a uh, horrible relationship, abusive, uh, work hard, never be appreciated. And your daughter also step in, in the same pattern. And it's very possible that you will choose a partner who will give you that quality of life. And um, you do it unconsciously. You choose a kind of pattern. Or you like, it's a kind of agreement, out of loyalty. My mother did that, uh, live that way. My grandmother lived that way. It's my duty to live this way. It's kind of dysfunctional solidarity. And it's not only the bad relationship, it can be also manifesting as an illness in our body, like migraines, which is not treatable with medication, the miscarriages and the pain in the body, which is, cannot be explained. And uh, the key to, uh, to solve that is usually the awareness. Awareness actually can be the key to many uh, sides of treatment. So we have to find the story, kind of uh, bring it to the light of awareness, uh, untied the note, which is where the problem lies, and the healing happens itself. Uh, uh, same apply if you are working with a, a, a culture factor, because sometimes our traditions can be pretty harsh or taboos, and it's an, um, they are lying the key to the treatment. Um, past life stories, uh, religious, the very famous in the Catholics, it's a call for me, eh? it's just uh, all the, to feel like I have to suffer to, to deserve something good. And, um, and sometimes when the people do not heal, uh, they have to just find the modality practitioner who deal uh, was who might find the reason why you are not getting well 
uh, beyond your physical body and beyond your personality. Uh, not a lot of modal uh, modalities uh, deal with that. Not all the practitioners uh, go on this uh, deep level. Um, body talk does. I know body alignment does. Uh, um, family constellation is a great one. Uh, I just mentioned few. There is probably so much more. And yeah, people do not heal because they need to bring bigger picture on the table. So the next one, what people do not heal. It's a difficult one. For me personally, it's the most difficult one. People don't heal because deep inside, on some unconscious level, they do not wish to heal. It sounds like a nonsense. But if you're a practitioner, I can bet at least once you had a client who comes for treatment, uh, looks committed, uh, even there is some progress, but when the real shift is supposed to happen, um, the people are disappearing. They check out, they have a one million reason why not to do that, 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 sabot that sabotaging all uh, they've done before and... Uh, and they usually the people like this, they're going from one practitioner to another practitioner and they never finish even one treatment. Uh, in the cases like that, as a practitioner, we cannot judge and uh, we just have to accept people's uh, choices. Because commitment to the treatment, to healing process, it's a, cl a client's will and only client's will. We cannot make anybody to... To heal themselves. Um, why people do that? Uh, because if you are ill for a very long time, your illness, physical or psychological or emotional, become your identity. So you become your illness. It's, it's your filter. It's your consciousness when you look on the life. You percept the world through the eyes of your illness. It's a, you are get attention because you're weak and sick you get uh, make people to take care of you there you make uh, so that's basically the illness become the tool how you operate with the life um, manipulation the illness is very great tool for manipulate other people I uh, don't think the people do it on uh, because they're evil or they do want to destroy the, uh, other people's life. It's just, if the people will uh, stick to the treatment, as I'm pretty sure, and most of the time, you will un un uh, reveal the reason, a belief uh, why the people choose to be ill instead of being healthy. Uh, it's because belief system they hold very deep inside it. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy or I'm wor uh, worthless and people will love me, people will attract me, people will take care of me only if I'm sick. Uh, so people do not heal because uh, illness become their identity. And um, why people do not heal is sometimes healing can be very unpleasant and very difficult process because uh, during the sessions your shadows, you're not such a pretty side of your personality can be revealed, revealed and um, not everybody can the courage to face their own shadows and even if sometimes people do like out from the victim position they see the bigger picture they see something not so likable and instead of take responsibility and try and uh, learn how to move on in your life people just sleep in the consciousness of the guilt blame self-judgment and it can be so strong to stay in this uh, in this state of same blame or self-judgment then on this vibration, the healing process is just not possible. So people do not heal because they are afraid to face their own shadows. But there is something else people are uh, afraid to face and even more scary and more terrifying than our shadows 
uh, our own shadows, it's um, unknown. I don't know what what is with our human psychic, why we're so terrified of unknown. So sometimes you see the person who live a miserable life, unhappy, uh, in the pain, suffering, and still so scared to give a chance to themselves to step and change something about their life because it's uh, being healthy or try to take a chance is so unknown and so scary. Uh, our if you are already have half of your life or big part of your life live in a, a while suffering you know how to cope with this you know how to deal with that you know you know what to expect from that even if it's you know it's going to be only uh only very sad stuff but usually people if it's if it's already so bad people still afraid if they try to change something things things can get worse Worth that. At least I'm gonna have that bad. At least things are not gonna get worse than right now. So people just too afraid to step in the chance to change something. Yeah. And the last one I want to mention, uh, it will be the environment. You probably are also a your practitioner or your client. Sometimes you know you go for a treatment sometimes even uh, is uh, if it's like whole course uh, the change is happening you are healing you are getting better but if the environment when you have to go back it can be working environment it can be your family it can be your social group and uh, things just fall apart again and in this case um, in the body talk we even have like whole box of two uh, which is a uh, deal with environment we uh, if people cannot change the environment they can just build the stamina so the harmful environment does not harm them that bad or not that bad or don't harm them at all so uh, that will be it for the small talk about why people do not heal um, I'm pretty sure there's many more reasons beyond our understanding uh, it's maybe a spiritual or mystical reason why people do not heal, but um, it's beyond my uh, competition. Uh, com it's beyond my knowledge, and I'm I'm not gonna talk about this. And I hope uh, my little talk will help somebody to find the practitioner. You have to know there is a different practitioner. Their approach is different, and. Uh, maybe you might see yourself a little bit different from the different side or in the bigger picture and uh, yes i just wish everybody who is looking for help to get the help they need um, and healing is always possible one way or another thank you for choosing to listen to me and please check me on uh, my site www bodytalkwithirina.com Thank you very much and have a great day.